We've been busy little bees here, haven't we? We bring the truth, a straight truth. I said you could go, so go. Warn you, don't touch anything here. Hmm. I suppose that's enough. There's no need for pointless bloodshed. It's rather atypical of me to say that, but I've been fighting enough recently. And have no particular allegiances to Helseth. And indeed, we, if anyone, quite an axe to grind. I wonder if the fool captain of the guard will accept a lie or some other explanation. If they relocate, then perhaps that will be enough. see where this leads. Indeed I have. Can we not complete the quest? Have you found? Make sure that I don't think it's actually possible. Oh, yes, mention him by name. No, that doesn't seem to do it, actually. Hmm. How unfortunate. It doesn't seem like we can actually conclude this particular investigation unless we get quite literal with them all I suppose that is what we'll go do so I'm at a loss for what else I could do so it seems they're quite content to try to threaten me something I certainly don't appreciate and uh, apparently was unable to concoct a lie to explain what was happening there. Oh, it's rather unfortunate, really, but I suppose it's just what I'll have to do. More Dunmer blood on my hands. I'm sure all the craftsmen will be quite pleased with me. Hello everyone. I suppose I'm here to have a little fun with you. We bring the truth, a straight truth. Really, is that what you do? Hmm, that sounds so interesting. Perhaps I'll just hmm, I don't know, kill you all? What do you say to that? Are you reasonable? Whoa! Uh, yeah, I didn't survive that. Holy cow. A Briel not so accomplished an assassin as he thought he was. I actually haven't died with him in some time. 
I suppose it was inevitable that it would come about again. They are impressively powerful. I don't know what they hit him with, but it hurt. And that's why we're going to take a little bit more preparation now. Use a couple of powerful magical objects like, ooh, what was it? The Ring of Equity. Yeah. That'll give us spell absorption and reflection. Which will probably help us avoid that nasty little spell we just got hit with. And then beyond that, second barrier, obviously. And then we'll just see if we can actually manage to kill these fools. Perhaps with this storm, Frost Astronaut to help us. Come on. Oh, very good. I suppose no one is really going to take note of the fact that I just summoned a Daedra in the middle of this place, do you? Die, fools! Oof. About to be knocked out. Ugh. Off of me! Ooh, he's hit me with quite a powerful spell. But it wasn't enough. Well done, servant. A light staff. Interesting. Do believe I'll take that. Another second barrier belt. Out of the way, please. Trails of Helen was certainly not as powerful as he indeed liked to pretend. He had a, a Dwemer Chink sword. That could have been quite dangerous, had it penetrated my armor. <laughs> Silverware, of all things. Hmm, dangerous skill. Actually, rather valuable. I'll take that. Well, now that these all these simpletons are dealt with. Let us go back and report what we've managed to do. And they seem none the wiser. Hmph! <laughs> I didn't hear all that ruckus downstairs. What is the likelihood of that? Nothing you need to concern yourself with, fool. I cannot help but to think where I could possibly rest, given all the enemies I've made here already. <laughs> I doubt there's a safe place in this entire city. And here we are to report. Yes, the anonymous writer was Trellis Ferris and is now dead. The solution is simple and elegant. We are very satisfied. For in our generous reward and our most sincere expressions of gratitude, there's one more official matter. Go to Lady Baron Zaya. She's asked to speak with you personally. The king's health to you, sir. And to you, receiving 5,000 gold for our efforts.
And now to go speak with the queen, which we've already done, but now she expresses us, or rather she calls for us explicitly. Let us see what she wants. I wanted to speak with you. I understand you've been performing some duties for Tianeus, and you've done well. If there are other matters you should investigate. Hmm. And who indeed may we trust? Difficult question, especially in the company of gods and kings. Time is the political arena is done, I will not miss it. You should take the time to speak with Platinius Mero, a dear friend of mine. He's knowledgeable on a great many subjects. Part we too, it is up to you to decide who your friends are. He's a dear friend of mine, an author, a man of the people. He's a good source of information. You'll often find him wandering about in the callous courtyard. Get to know him. His work has been widely read. What about Fedris Lair? There's more to him than one would think. Rumors he was once an assassin. It's fairly widely known that he's the leader of the hands of Omalexia. Not a person to be trifled with. And indeed, are there is there anything else you want me to do? Hmm. Perhaps a bit on Omalexia. Yes, I know who she is. And Helseth himself, whom we've not been able to get a personal audience with. She insists I associate with Plitinius Marrow and this Fedris Lher, the Temple of Almalexia. Yes, of course. Good day. Abril <laughs> showing very. A <laughs> severe lack of decorum. Something atypical for his first person, but uh, being exhausted as he is, constantly pushing himself, never stopping, it would seem only natural at this point. Good to see you again, friend. I was just doing a little writing. Of course you were. An author, are you? Suppose I've written one thing you might have read. You see, there was a time I worked as a scribe for a beautiful young queen. I was young and ambitious, perhaps a bit too much of either for my good. After a great deal of research, I was able to publish a biography. Why, the real Baron Zaya, of course. I felt it my duty to get to history a true and honest account of this remarkable woman. The story I presented, while true, was perceived as scandalous. My exuberance for the tale was left unchecked by wisdom, and I fear I caused some damage to the woman, not to mention the imperial family. As I said, the tale was a true one. However, the details within should probably not have been divulged as they were. There were details that were felt to be embarrassing to the septum line, although it was not my intent for them to be so. The work was ordered banned, and I was to be executed. Were it not for the grace of the lady herself, it be long in my grave. If you've read the work, you'll know that Queen Baron Zaya has many things. She is not shy, and she is not ashamed of how her life was led. She knew my work to be true, and I believe she felt a sense of amusement, if not satisfaction, with the tale's telling. She protected me from the Imperial family, and spread the word of my demise at her guard's hands. Since then I have traveled with her under this name, acting as her scribe, her advisor, and dare I say, her friend. I could ask for no greater honor. The only thing I hope for is to one day be able to publish further volumes of the work, to chronicle the lady's life after her marriage to King Ijwer. Perhaps one day I will be able to, but I am old, and my time grows short. Oh, that I could write fiction as great as the plot the Lady Baron Zaya has lived. Fine, fine woman. It's been a pleasure to know her for as long as he has. Omalexia's beloved. What do you know about Fedra's hair? Tells me he's been with the Lady for many Omalexia for many years now, serving an official capacity as her steward. These duties and tales not known to me, but there are rumors that he carries out some of the more unpleasant chores for the goddess. Hmm. What about Helseth? He's the son. Herself was the niece of King Athrin Lelethan. It is certain that the bloodline is strong. He's a young king, though, and perhaps a bit rash. He does not yet possess his mother's wisdom or his father's courage. 
Hmm. Anyone else that we should get to know? What do you think we may trust? If the Queen Mother considers you a friend, so do I. I wish them as fast, and I am eager to help her in any way I can. If you are in need of information on any topic, feel please feel free to ask. I'll provide you with what limited knowledge I possess. Hmm. Well, this is more just a technicality. Say we're getting good with him. Of course, we could just muck it up. Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. <laughs> anyway. It's odd that you can't slowly increase uh, your, uh, I guess you say, reputation with an individual and not having friendly conversations like that with them. You think that would work over the course of, if not one conversation, then several. But anyway. I think that we have done quite enough for the time being. Mero himself did not actually give us any specific leads. So, I suppose the only thing left to do is to talk to this. Oh, what is the fool's name again? Ugh. They all just sort of blend together after a while. The head of the Almalexia's hands, or whatever the bloody hell it was. We'll do that. And find out just what we can through service to him. And perhaps that might lead to a more satisfying conclusion. Perhaps might let us get closer to Helseth. For now, though, I think we've done enough. Alright everyone, I hope you've enjoyed watching, and uh, yep, Abril will definitely be, be engaging in even more political intrigue later, so take care and see you later. Bye-bye.